When your T-Mobile home internet shows connected but no internet, it means your device is successfully connected to the T-Mobile gateway, but the gateway itself cannot reach the internet. This frustrating situation affects millions of T-Mobile customers and has several distinct causes. T-Mobile home internet uses fixed wireless access technology, connecting your home to cell towers instead of traditional cable or fiber lines. This system relies on three main network types that work together to provide your internet connection. The three network types are 5G ultra capacity on 2.5 GHz spectrum for high speeds, 5G extended range on 600 and 700 MHz for wide coverage, and 4G LTE as a fallback when 5G is unavailable. Problems can occur at any of these network layers. The most common cause of connectivity issues is gateway firmware conflicts, particularly affecting Nokia and Sagemcom devices. These firmware problems can disrupt the routing tables and DNS resolution, preventing internet access even when the cellular connection appears strong. Network congestion during peak hours from 7 to 11 p.m. is another major cause. During these times, too many users are competing for the same cell tower capacity causing slowdowns or complete connection failures even though your device shows a strong signal. 5G band switching issues occur when your gateway struggles to maintain a stable connection as it switches between different 5G frequencies. DNS resolution failures prevent your devices from translating website names into IP addresses, while IPv6 compatibility problems affect older devices that only support IPv4 protocols. Understanding these root causes is essential for effective troubleshooting. Whether it's firmware conflicts, network congestion, or technical compatibility issues, each problem requires a different approach to resolve the connected but no internet status on your T-Mobile home internet service. When experiencing connectivity issues with T-Mobile home internet, Follow these systematic troubleshooting steps to resolve the problem efficiently. First, assess your signal quality. The reference signal received power, or RSRP, should be above negative 110 decibels milliwatts for reliable connectivity. Step two is to restart your T-Mobile gateway. Simply power cycle the device by unplugging it for 30 seconds, then plugging it back in. This simple step resolves about 34% of connectivity issues. Third, optimize your gateway's location. Move the device to a central location away from walls and interference sources. Proper placement can fix 28% of signal-related problems. Fourth, check for Wi-Fi interference, especially on the 2.4 GHz band. Other devices like microwaves, baby monitors, and neighboring Wi-Fi networks can cause connectivity problems. Fifth, try changing your DNS servers. Switch to public DNS providers like Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS. This resolves browsing issues in about 19% of cases. Sixth, if problems persist, perform a factory reset of your gateway. This will restore all settings to defaults and resolves about 67% of persistent configuration problems. Finally, if issues continue after trying these steps, contact T-Mobile support for professional assistance. Signal-related problems account for 42% of support calls, gateway hardware issues for 31%, and network outages for 18%. Following these systematic troubleshooting steps will resolve most T-Mobile home internet connectivity issues. Start with the simple solutions first and escalate to more advanced steps only if needed.